but that's definitely a bigger vehicle. We found them. We found them, guys. Confirmation, Bryson. Tennessee plate 919 BGLM. That is the vehicle we are looking for. The big thing you guys are doing, so please know that we love you and thank you for your support. On December 2nd, while searching for missing paramotorist Kenny Loudermilk, we were contacted by Stephen Smith from Ventures for Hope about a missing person case in Clarksville, Tennessee. Looking further into the case, we decided to head to Clarksville Sunday evening and begin our search for Jason Spencer on Monday. We knew very little about Jason's disappearance, going on the information given in news articles. On Monday, we were joined by Bryson from Die for Good and discussed the case. Jason, who was 49 years old, was last seen on November 9, 2022, around 3 a.m. His son reported him missing on November 14, we knew that Jason had left his wallet and necessities at his home off Rebecca Lane and he had turned off his phone. This led so many to believe that the burdens Jason was facing in his life became too much for him to bear any longer. Knowing the Cumberland River was less than two and a half miles away, that was our target search area. Upon driving to the first boat ramp, we noticed cameras right away. And once at the ramp, we saw that other search teams Adam Brown's adventures and exploring with Nug were already marking a car. Not wanting to disturb their imaging, we chose to go to the boat ramp farther down, which was also easier for us to access. We unloaded the boat into the water and on our first pass saw an anomaly that was indicative of a vehicle that had recently went in. He went missing on November 9th at 3 a.m. That was the last time he was seen leaving his house in a 2016 Dodge 1500. It's white in color. His son reported him missing on the 14th. I'm not sure if the son wasn't around or worked away from home or something like that. Um, you know, what the delay in was reporting or if his dad, you know, would kind of be gone for a few days at a time. So we are here in Clarksville. There is a boat ramp that is 2.4 miles from his house. We put in a little bit farther um, down the river. This boat ramp was just a little more accessible for us. So we are going to continue scanning in this area and then work our way down to that other boat ramp. But just from putting the boat in, we believe we already possibly have three to four vehicles in this area. One of them is not giving us a very good feedback, which would be more indicative of, of him and his truck because he's only been in here for less than a month. So a vehicle in the water um, for a... Um, for a shorter period of time is not going to give us that hard feedback. Um, it's not had that silt and sediment built up on it, so we're not getting a good bounce back on the sound waves. So we're going to keep scanning through here. Hopefully today we can we can bring Jason home for his family. We do have Die for Good. Hey. Um, you all know him. He's been in uh, several episodes, and uh, thank you for coming out. Yeah. So. Uh, y'all were, were pretty close. So I was like, well, might as well. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna search these spots. We got that boat ramp right there, and then like she said, we're gonna go down through there. But we're also gonna go upstream a little bit. Let's see. But um, we're not sure if anybody has searched the water yet, as far as like law enforcement things like that. We're not sure. Um, how far they've gone into it um, we're not sure I don't I don't even know if if they have that ability um, so we're we're here we're gonna see if we can help the family and then uh, go from there um, I know that there's not again with him being in here for a shorter period of time it's gonna be a little bit harder to find so hopefully we can can find him today. Bryson is super thrilled about getting in the water today, possibly. Yeah, it's a nice and warm <laughs> in the boat, at least. Um, with the vehicles that we have, um, that we find today, uh, Jacob can dive them. He's, he'll be warm and toasty, so. Bryson can dive them, too. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have an object here, but that's more along the lines of that old boat ramp right there. See how that comes up? It's just too large. So we'll uh, show 
you some of the sonar pictures of the vehicles that we find and then uh, we'll dive on them. We'll show you real quick what these vehicles, potential vehicles look like here. Several. Here in a second if I can get the boat straight. And that would be direct line of travel in this water, so. There's the truck. Looks a little off. That's only because I think I was turning. But that's definitely a bigger vehicle. That, I don't know. And, boat. and definitely something that's going to be checked out. That looks like a bass boat. For sure. It doesn't look that way that right here. Mm -hmm. Or a car upside down. Yeah. And then there's another. That looks like an office chair. See, that's what I'm saying. Are we saying this is one here on the left? That's old. That's super, super old. Super old. Super, old. Super, old. super old. Right there. Yep. And then there possibly may be one there. This, I think, is this. Yeah. That other one's so old that. And then there's that one. We went back over the vehicle and the down scan caught an image that showed us a truck. We immediately dropped down the live scope and the image was so clear that we could even tell that it was a Dodge. It's a big buoy or a small one, it doesn't matter whichever one you want to use. Um, we're going to get it pinpointed. Right there on the left here? Or no? There it is, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's it, right? Uh, it's definitely a truck, Bryson. Holy crap. It's a... Uh, yeah. That's a Dodge. That is a Dodge. Yeah. See the front end? Yeah. It's rounded. It's a Dodge front end. So, Bryson, this yeah. is 20 pointed like 10 to 25 and it's straight out right next to us. Let that go and then, yep. Uh, Sorry, I didn't have enough line out. Okay, you're good. You're gonna be just short of it. Okay, he's, he's getting more line out. That was my fault. Do I need to move the boat up? Nope. He was like literally straight out from where he was at. There it is. Right there, got it. You're on it? Yeah. All right, tie a knot. Right huh? You should be on it. Yeah. So, let, let me, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, then you tie a knot, and then you cinch the thing up. You see how that knot is? Yeah. You'll, you'll tie another one. I think he is right in the cab. Yep, he is, he's right on the hood. That's definitely a truck, guys. Yeah. All right. Good job. Knowing this needed to be dove on immediately, Bryson got dressed and we set up the communications. You're right on top of the truck. I know. I'm. This All right. I didn't need a light anyway. Right? All right, we're, we're on top of it. So when you come up, make sure you put your hand up. You're good. Bryson dropped down on the vehicle and let us know that it was a white truck. Good luck, buddy. Bring him home. I'm on the bottom. What? Are you standing on the truck? All right. Copy that. We're looking for a white Dodge Ram 1500. He said it was white. Yes. 
We almost forgot to breathe as we were waiting for more information to come to the surface. He came back over the comms, letting us know that it was a Dodge Ram. Tennessee plates, 919 BGLM. Our hearts sank when Bryson came through announcing the plate, 919 BGLM, the Tennessee plate we were searching for. White Dodge Ram, good, nice. that's what we're looking for. He's underneath, oh, we're on top of him. I know, until he comes out of the plates. Well, not really. That's just, just his bubbles. bubbles. We're beside him. We found him. We found him, guys. Confirmation, Bryson. Tennessee plate 919 BGLM. That is the vehicle we are looking for. <laughs> Good job, Bryson. Can you get the license plate off? We need that license plate. Or do you need me to get you a uh, something to get it off? We don't need it. We got it on GoPro then. Oh my God. Um, I do want to say thank you really quickly to Stephen Smith from Ventures with Hope. He's the one who had contacted us about this case and, you know, asking about it and we'd kind of talked back and forth and I had said, you know, the Cumberland River is the closest, you know, he had confirmed that for us. So a huge thank you to, to Steven. He unfortunately wasn't able to be out with us this morning. He had to work this morning. He was going to be coming out with us this afternoon. So hopefully he can be out here um, a little later on with us. But I do want to say a huge thank you to Steven with, with Ventures from Hope um, out here in this area. So ask him how he's doing. How are you doing, Bryson? He saw a leg. He was also able to see that there appeared to be remains inside. Come back up. You're clear to come up whenever you're ready. Just watch. Just watch. Your head. We have confirmation. If we have it on camera. Uh, we should be okay. If you're not able to, don't don't stress yourself out about it. Copy that. We are roughly in the same position, so just watch yourself when you come up in case we are over top of you. You must be coming up. Good job, Bryson. Good job. From that point, the call was made to Clarksville Police Department. A search and recovery dive team. Uh, we, I'm trying to get in contact with Detective Spears, who is in charge of the Jason Spencer missing persons case. We've just located his vehicle in the water. At this point, Adam and Jeremy had also joined us, prepared to assist us if needed. All right, guys. So. As, as luck will have it, I mean, we have Exploring with Nug with us and Adam Brown Adventures. They actually came out the same day. We have probably the same followers as they want to get the story out and they want to help families. So they send us these cases. Well, Adam and uh, Nug took the drive over here. We took the drive down from St. Louis and, uh, you know, we were able to, as a team, bring them home. So it's uh, yeah, there's a lot of cars out here. More ground. We found a Ford Taurus down the, yeah. that boat ramp. It had a disabled veterans tag on it, which was spooky, but I don't think it was linked to anybody. We can get a cop here, actually, or yeah, let, let them know. So, so, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, this was a really good it was a really good find. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Love each and every one of you. Show these guys the support as they're great people. Um, you know, to take your time out of your family life to come and help people, that's amazing. And this is exactly what they, they do. Um, that's exactly what we do. Spend a lot of times on the water and out yeah. oh, yeah. away. Oh yeah. So I sleep in my van. 
So just, uh, <laughs> just, just show them some support as you guys do me. Um, it's a great thing that we're doing, and I'm just glad that everybody was able to come together and uh, bring them home. That's the main. That's the main objective is to bring them home. So thank you guys. After Clarksville Police, Montgomery County Emergency Services, medical, and the dive team discussed a plan of action, Bose Towing then arrived. All right, guys, so we have Bose Towing here. They have get their time and service in here to bring home the missing person. And uh, I just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you guys for doing this. Um, Bose Towing out of uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. So please check them out and uh, definitely give them a, give them a holler because they're, uh, they're good people, good hearts. So thank you. Love you, bye. Jacob and Bryson were asked to be the divers to hook up the vehicle and bring it to the surface. Bryson and Jacob were submerged for less than four minutes, securing the tow line and ensuring that the truck would come up safely and also ensuring that anything inside would remain secure. Jacob is up. Grayson is up. Jacob left. There's a big rock there, watch out. There you go. You still have your fins on? Yep. Why? I don't know. I'm too fat to reach out and do it. Once the vehicle was on the ramp, it was quickly surrounded by medical and emergency services, and the remains of who is believed to be Jason Spencer were removed and taken to the coroner's for confirmation. All right, guys, so as you've seen, Jason Spencer has been brought home. It's because of you guys and all your support. We love each and every one of you. Keep diving somewhere to stop. Rising from Dive for Good, thank you so much for coming and helping with this assist. And uh, this is a big thing you guys are doing. So please know that we love you and thank you for your support. And we want to again thank all of the agencies present that day for their hospitality and entrusting us to assist them in this sensitive recovery. Our deepest sympathies go out to the family and loved ones of Jason Spencer. <laughs>